what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a League SBC player review today. We're going to be looking at Giovinco, the 86 rated Italian who plays in the MLS. He plays for Toronto, of course, and has these stats. 85 pace, 89 dribbling, 86 shooting and 85 passing. You can see he's only 5 foot 4. He's got high medium work rates. He's right footed with the 4 star skills and weak foot combo. How will the Italian fare for us today? Uh, in ultimate team so I've got a couple of squad options for you uh, both of these teams I'm going to play him as a striker I think that could be uh, where I might have been going a little bit wrong from time to time he comes out from the SBC as a default center forward and I think you either need to play him at cam center forward or striker and as I went on and played some games I maybe noticed a little bit that I really enjoyed his passing and I, I was actually getting loads of assists maybe cam could be a great option for the Italian. So going on in to the in-game stats, there are a few things which stand out to me. One, the difference between the acceleration and the sprint speed, uh, and two, just how good his stats look in four of those departments. Pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling. He does look like a complete madman, uh, and I'm hoping for some, hoping for some beastly goals and stuff with this player. Today, I've gone with the hunter chemistry style. I was, I was already happy with that dribbling stat, uh, and I wanted to just boost him in the, the pace and shooting. Seems as he got an 86 rated SBC item last year, and the stats were way better. Uh, so I needed to try and boost that pace a little bit and stuff, just to, to see if we could turn him into a really quick, tricky player uh, on this game. So moving on into the clips, you're going to see all of the goals that I was able to score and of course some of the shots that didn't quite make it into the back of the net and we will start our positives and negatives talk with the negatives. His sprint speed, like I mentioned briefly earlier, it's so different to his acceleration. Uh, I think with the Hunter chemistry style, we got it up to very usable levels and he did feel pretty quick. But you do notice that he gets up to speed and then there's almost like a little bit of a drop off in pace. Uh, it's, it's odd to see a player with such difference between acceleration and overall sprint speed. Uh, and then, of course, his height and strength. Those things, as sometimes they can they can aid him a little bit because you know center of gravity and being able to twist and turn on the ball uh, that can can be useful uh, but a lot of the time if you're just receiving the ball back to goal and you're straight away into some sort of physical confrontation he might just about be able to turn the defender but if there's any single touch from that defender in like a physical way he is going to get knocked to the floor uh, and and well you're just going to get dispossessed because he doesn't have the strength to 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 keep hold of that ball, you know, he's he's just not a physical player. Do not, and I repeat, do not get into any physical confrontation or aerial battles with this guy because it's just not going to go in your favour. As you could rightly expect, you know, you, you've got to use this player to his strengths and we'll talk about them right now. Oh, by the way, nice free kick going in here. You do get a set piece taker. He's got very, very good stats in those departments. Uh, penalties and, and free kicks, I think a good option is to use Giovinco. His acceleration, and is actually our first positive. So his pacing in, in general is, is kind of weird because he gets up to speed super quick. Almost one of the quickest players that I've used on this game getting up to speed uh, because he just jets off. But then, there, like I said, there, there is that drop off. And I'm not too sure whether it's something to do with his height. You know, he's got like, he's five foot four, so he's got smaller legs. It means that he can't be carried as far. Um, so pe people start to catch up to him. Yeah, he can get up to speed quick, but then people start to catch him over time. Maybe that's just because, you know, partly due to his him being very small. Uh, and then, well, we can move on now to another positive. Agility balance, you know. That is, this is where being small helps. You know, you get someone with ridiculous center of gravity. You can literally turn on a sixpence with Giovinco. This man just weaves in and out with that ball really, really close to his feet. Uh, he's kind of messy-like on the ball. It's crazy. He's really, really fun to dribble with. Uh, and that is going to be the difference between a player that's not usable and then someone that, even though he's not very strong, can just use something different within his game to, to get past those defenders. And, and this is it. You know, it's him getting up to speed really quickly, weaving in and out of defenders, and just generally being quick on the ball with the ball close to his feet and not in full sprint situations. Uh, his dribbling and, and overall skill moves are awesome because not only do you get what we've just been talking about, but you get someone with four-star skills. So he's got those chops and turns that I find to be very, very useful uh, in my attack. Uh, and of course, he does them... Uh, he, he exceeds expectations in that department just because he'll do a Berber spin that, that 
turns the defender quicker than you can possibly imagine. Um, but what I was really impressed with was just his general composure on the ball. And more importantly, I was getting loads of assists with this guy. Uh, to the point where I think in future I would try and play him as a central attacking midfielder. Because although he doesn't have the height, you know, I don't think you necessarily need that there. What he could do is just burst forward a little bit using that acceleration and then use his great uh, like vision and passing to play that key ball through to some strikers and then they can get the glory and net the goals. Uh, but that being said, he was able to score goals for me and his shooting stats were pretty good. Nice amount of power uh, and obviously a great amount of accuracy in the finishing. So there you go, guys. Um, that is my thoughts on the SBC Giovinco. He is small, but he is—he's got a lot of—he's got a lot of great things going for him. A very fun and interesting player to use. If you can get him into a squad, you're going to have a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.